Well, it's that time of year again. I got one more show to do out in Ohio, and then I'm headed up to Little Bay to knock. Uh, I get a bunch of emails this time of year, people that are headed up there or other bodies of water. They want to know how I set up my segmented lead core reels, which is what I'm doing right now. Typically what I'm doing is I'm fishing anywhere from 17 to 35 feet of water. With those depths, if, as long as you have about 80 feet of lead core on your reels, you can change your depth or your speed from like 1.2 to 2 miles an hour and you can you can have that exact same set out and cover all those depths no problem. So that's what I do. But to correctly fill up a spool, like this Daiwa 27 here, which is what I use up there, um, you go 500 feet, 15 pound backing. I like to use this bright green stuff so my headlamp can correctly shine on it when it's sitting outside from the side of the boat. So 500 feet of that, 80 feet of that, 18 pound lead core, followed up by 40 to 50 feet of uh, 15 pound monofilament for your leader material. You do that, you'll have a nice topped off spool. Make sure you do it all, you know, make sure you're using all the same reels all the way across the board. Make sure everything is consistent with each other. So if you, allow, if you let out X amount of line on one reel, you can duplicate it six more times with all your other reels and all your baits are in the correct window in the zone, ready to get bit, and uh, you will increase your bites per trolling pass going that route. So make sure everything is consistent with each other. Remember the numbers, 500, 80, 50, and you'll be golden up there. So take care, guys. I'll be seeing you in a couple weeks when I'm up in Bay Knock. Can't wait. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.